Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, this is a big day. It's a widow who kills a chicken or two extravaganza, in which word balloons fly all over the place, and all types of junk happens. So, um, uh, yesterday I did a quick time video of me uh, working on my uh, Illustrator. I work on Illustrator on Sundays because. <laughs> It enables me to uh, get all my word balloons done. And then I, um, last week, I used StreamYard to record the whole thing and uh, give me bleh, um, results. So yesterday, I got a little bit smarter and I did a QuickTime screen capture, screen recording. So it's much much looks great. <laughs> it looks good. So let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. See, there it is. So I'm going to just start this off. This is Blue Boy Brown, as I remember it. Yeah, so let me see if I can put, uh, no, I can't do that. Nah, forget it. Okay, so let's just start this thing off. Oh, uh, I'm taking all the audio out of this because. Uh, doesn't mean anything right now. Anyway, here I here I'm on page 109. 109. They finally got to the old folks to the Peabody Cafe because they know they got black coffee there. Because they got to get some black coffee in these people. Because if they show up with them uh, stinking drunk and uh, Ma sees them, oh, there's going to be so much grief. So they're going to try and put some black coffee in them. Of course, everybody tries black coffee. And does it work? No. Nope. <laughs> Just makes you very alert and still stinking drunk. Uh, so, but who does he run into at the Peabody Cafe? But the one and only Maggie. Maggie is the one he runs into. So right at the beginning, let me make sure I got this thing going on. Yeah, it's still going on. It's uh, two hours and 13, 15 minutes. So it's what, two hours and 15 minutes of fun. And then after that, it'll be about 12, 15. So maybe for a little while, I'll work on page one. Uh, see, uh, I'm up to page 113 here. But in actuality, I've already done up to page 119. So I've got this week's done, and then I have uh, next week's already finished, and plus one page. So all I have to do is four pages this week, and then I'm pretty much set. And this is a big week because my I go back to teaching college again today. Not today, on Tuesday. But it's a real easy schedule. I don't start teaching until 2.05 in the afternoon. And I only teach for like, Two hours and forty minutes, then I'm I'm finished, and that's that way for the first month, and then I start teaching at eleven forty also. But it's a real good schedule. It's nice to be a uh, an adjunct college professor. You get all the cool parts of being a college professor, but you don't have to go to committee meetings. <laughs> I was never good at committee meetings. I tried that when I was public school teacher, but I just uh, I kept falling asleep in, in, uh, during the middle of the of the committee meeting, and I wasn't much use to anybody. After a long day of uh, teaching, starting with the kind of factory hours they have for public schools, uh, it's real difficult to stay awake. So I didn't. <laughs> I didn't worry about it. Dee boo Okay, there we go. So this is how I put together word balloons. Well, this is a simple uh, version because all I've done is one simple balloon. That all I have to do is put the tail on it, the pointer on it. And in the balloon layer, all I have to do is to select them both. 
So I do it with that second pointer, which I'm not really sure what it is. It's a transformation pointer. And then you put them together and you uh, use the pathfinder and the shape mode to merge them. And you get to do your own uh, word balloons that are customized, which uh, I think works better. It just never works out how when you try to do something fancy and you get all these prepared uh, word balloons. They just don't. They just don't work. It's so sad. So all those collections of word balloons that uh, are always being promoted. Huh? Well, they don't work. So now I'm watching. Uh, oh, I'm watching uh, this on my Fire tablet, and it's just. Perfect. It's just, you know, nice and crisp, which is, so oh, I'm catching on. I'm catching on. Don't, uh, this, the compression on Steamyard is too much for the recordings. The recordings are just to tell you what you did, I suppose. And so, do 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 do. So, now I'm just gonna use QuickTime. It's better. I had trouble using QuickTime for a while, then I figured out how to do it. So this is the fun part. I get to write all this stuff. I've got a script. Uh, I vary from the script as I'm going in the last, uh, the last uh, part of doing this and formatting it for the for the web comic. Uh, I, um, I change everything. I, you know, it's whatever fits on the page. It has to fit on the page too. You can get very verbal with, uh, with your writing. And if it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit on the page, it's kind of useless. Okay. Now, I think I do, I don't. Put that right there. I think I put it down somewhere else because I have to tell. She has to tell, be told. I didn't get hurt. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. So I'm negotiating with a friend of mine who um, is going to help me uh, create a Kickstarter campaign for Blue Boy Brown. So that'll be coming in. I'll be developing fairly soon. And it'll be a real fun deal. Get this whole thing out in a real nice glossy cover super beautiful yeah that's what it was yeah yeah we need some coffee real bad <clears throat> and so um So I'm not really sure exactly when we'll start this. Uh, and so, uh, but uh, sooner or later, before the end of the year, we'll probably have this out. That'd be cool. I think it's going to be really beautiful. I'm going to do some re-editing. I edit and edit and edit and edit until there's no more editing that can be done. And uh, so that it, uh, you don't get uh, what you want on the first right. Uh, and in many respects, that's what uh, my web comic is. It's uh, the um, it's the precursor to the print version. I suppose when I uh, get the print version out, and it's absolutely perfect, that I'll do a reposting of the. Of the webcomic, 
and probably have the webcomic always there. Those who don't want to buy the the thing, which might, who knows, might become a collector's item. You know, my whole premise in doing this was saying to myself, what if Dale Luciano was right? And I was a um, um, somebody to watch. And so, um, and uh, yeah, his, he was ticked off that I actually left comics. That was back when he wrote for a comics journal. I don't think he does anything in comics anymore. I've written to him telling him, hey, I'm back. You know, you got ticked off because I left, but I'm back. So, but I haven't gotten any response from him. If you get anybody here knows him, tell him I'm, uh, I'm back. I'm back. If anybody would care. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll see. That's why it's a nine book uh, deal. That's why it, uh, first book, uh, okay, fine. After nine books, if I got this kind of, quality for nine books and i know my story ooh, 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 ooh. i know my story it's a it's a it's a humdinger it's a humdinger uh yeah i've done my homework it's not a superhero story though it's heroic there's lots of heroes in it, but it's not a superhero story. But it, uh, it does have its uh, magical qualities. Remember, there are uh, roses that fall from the sky and bury this poor boy on a regular basis. So, something's going on. It's just not... Uh, high-powered mortals from a uh, from a another planet or solar system or galaxy or the Kree are not involved and human <laughs> beings can't cause earthquakes or sigh waves or something like that. You know, because I'm an underground cartoonist. Uh, in the undergrounds, the uh, Wonder War Talk has already been done. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> this is more fun, too. Um, there are historical contexts to this that uh, I enjoy a great deal. Um, I did a lot of historical research about this time period about all the things that are going on and why they happened. It is not just enough to know that things happened. It's good to know why they happened. Why did uh, certain things, which I can't speak of now because it would give away my story. <laughs> why did they happen? Why did they happen just this way? Why did they follow certain uh, natural laws that happen in all cultures happens wherever you go. These same things happen. They always happen this way. Never, never fails. I, I find that absolutely fascinating that the human condition has so much. Everybody has so much in common. We're all pretty much alike and we follow the same guidelines is the same consequences to our actions so you can see why this is not uh, just uh, can I keep Lois from figuring out what these glasses mean oh well <laughs> you know in the original uh Back in the early days of Superman, Superman could change his facial features, which gave some credence to the idea that, of course, Lois didn't figure out that Clark was who he was. He'd, his nose was a different size. His eyes were a uh, different color. Something was going on there. <clears throat> so he changed his uh, appearance. They left that. Somebody said, that's too much. I thought it would have been a good idea. But... 
it enables um, the writers for Lois and Clark to uh, depict her when uh, that time traveling guy calls her stupid. Here's a who is the, she the dumbest woman that ever lived? Take the glasses off. Yeah. Well. And uh of course you see over in the fourth pane over the fourth panel there that her paws looking at this. <laughs> Have you ever been a father with a daughter? Well, That's the kind of look you give. <laughs> Booty duty. So this is a really, this several pages is really bright, probably bright, bright, brightly colored. Green and orange and a beige are the main colors. And I think I've said this several times last week that uh, it's real important to check your ink coverage, which you do by going into Edit, Color Settings, and it brings up a um, pop-up menu. And in there, there's a, um, uh, a uh, drop-down box for uh, CMYK, which is how you print. You print with cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is why I keep telling everyone to keep black out of your colors. All those colors, the green, the orange, even the grays have no black in them. Uh, maybe 1% of black will creep in because, you know, it's hard to control everything. <laughs> but uh, by and large, those... Uh, those grays are made with uh, three uh, primary colors, which is, you know, simple color theory. Three primary colors put together in different uh, saturations will give you a particular chromatic neutral. And so it's important to check your ink coverage because you don't want the ink coverage to go over a certain amount because if it does, you're going to have ink layers sticking to each other in the printing process, which just stinks. Uh, and so what I do, and I didn't make this stuff up. I researched it, and yeah, I said, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, in that dialog box there, it tells you. You can do a custom CMYK. And um, by doing that, you can limit the amount of um, uh, percentage that's of uh, ink coverage from every color, from the CM, the YK, and the K. CMY is the one you're looking at. And uh, it's set for three, uh, 300%, 100% cyan, 100% magenta 100% yellow and then uh, you always have 100% uh, black because black's black and so you don't want your black as black to be a gray and so you uh, are enabled by doing this to um, to have a, a much uh, lower keyed uh, color combinations and that way you don't uh, get your ink coverage too uh too thick and in being too thick it um sticks together pages stick together yeah you don't ever want that that would drive you nuts just work for years on something and then when it's printed up it's all messed up now you're i uh, think your printer should when they're looking over the i'm sure they do a pre-press look a look see to see whether or not this thing's going to work they should but uh printers have been known to mess up they're they're they too are human i'm going to resize this thing 
see how this little idea of resizing everything works out. It works a lot better than, um, than just having cookie cutter A whole lot better than having these cookie cutter uh, word balloons, which don't seem to ever really work. Yeah. And you have to do a little more. Yeah, I have to put a little. One more, I think. You better fix that, bud. I think I do. I looked at it several times, and it's not like it wasn't there. I didn't notice it. I said there was a horrible killing yesterday, and you were right there. Now I got to fix that one little thing where the killing and right next to each other. Hey, what am I doing? Come on, you're not that dumb. Fix it. Fix it. Yeah, fix it. Not that. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll fix it later. Hmm. I must have noticed it. Sooner or later, I must have noticed it. Deep, beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. So, let me see. I do have banners. Let me see. I should. Uh, we have new pages upload. This is the link to this page. Yeah. That's the link to this page. I uploaded five pages at four o'clock this morning. Uh, I had to work on it till like midnight. I like to do these things in the last minute. I'm not sure if it's more fun or what. Anyway, as long as I get them fixed by midnight or so, it's fine with me. I usually do two or three on Saturday and then two or three on Sunday. But this time, I was working on my college classes and editing the syllabi and working on uh, all the stuff they have to do to get a decent grade and write to people and blah, 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 blah. You keep on doing these things. And uh, so I'm making another custom one. And in the um, print version, as I have it planned, the print the font size will be a lot smaller because you can't read a regular print size that you have in a comic book. If you put that on a phone, you can't read it. Uh, at least I can't read it. <laughs> it's just too small. Even if you have a retina 
screen or something like that, that you're going to have a heck of a time reading that thing. Boo, boo, boo. So here I am on my 109th page. When I was uh, a member of the Everyman group, they I didn't know this at the time. They would marvel at the fact that I got up every day and I started working on the comic. Instead of, you know, going out and climbing, uh, uh, hiking around Red Rocks and climbing one of the big uh, semi-mountains that they have around Colorado Springs. And <laughs> I just get in there and do it. And uh, and that's uh, pretty much what I've been doing the last couple of years, just getting up every day and trying to do something on the comic. Because I had to relearn all this stuff. I've been away from comics for 40 years. It just didn't come like, ooh. I had to relearn things that I knew before, but I think I'm better at it now. I'm a lot better at it. Certainly, I can write a lot better. I'm a whole lot better at writing than I was in 1973. Which uh, you might uh, agree with me is a heck of a long time ago. Richard Nixon was president. They, <laughs> I think the Watergate thing was going on. I was getting ready to be called up to Vietnam. It didn't go. I got fortunate. They rescinded the draft. But uh, I was sitting there. I mean, that's why I was working so hard on this thing. Yeah, I say, okay, in a couple, <laughs> couple weeks, I'm out of here. I'm, let me see if I can get how much done I can get done. Yeah, it wasn't much fun. Now, did I fix that? One little thing there that's bothering me now. I'm going to have to go and fix it. I can still fix it, just on the web. Do do do. Do 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 do. So this is what a finished comic book page looks like. And I do it in Illustrator. I hear people do it in, uh, I know that Jason Brubaker does his in in a Photoshop and then just uh, puts strokes and fills in the in his uh, lettering and uh, eh, eh, some people do that. I'll just do it this way. It seems like an awful lot of trouble. And. So you can uh, get uh, Illustrator to um, output a print-ready PDF, which is what my printer wants. So this is a better deal. There it is. I fixed it. See? I knew it. I'm, I must have fixed I had to fix it. Yeah. Okay. Look at me doing the right thing. Hard to believe. Doesn't Maggie look good, pretty and green? Okay, well. There's her paw. Well, I'm a whole lot happier with the way the um, the video is.
displaying. It's perfect now. I like perfect. <laughs> perfect works for me. What are all these? Getting these. Okay, I'm going to kill Outlook because they keep giving me spings and I want to hear it. Okay. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, dog. I'm getting to a stretch of pages that are, yeah, I'm actually happy with. La la la. Okay. Yeah, you can't blame the fellow for being protective of his little girl. Lu lu lu. And so I did I didn't at the beginning of the session the session yesterday I wasn't having any problem with the text coming up. Uh later on though it starts coming up with the little you know printer marks instead of text and I haven't figured out why it does that, but I finally always fix it eventually. Move that sucker around. Uh, no, I don't. I'm, I'm uh, resizing it. La, 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 la. Okay, now I'm going to put in a, something emphatic here. Much smaller. Doesn't need to be big. Uh, do, 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 do. And uh, okay. So Mondays is basically uh, my illustrator day. Oh, I make it up bigger. And I make it. Uh, well, you big dummy, if you just looked at that, there's a, there's already a bold. I didn't figure that out last night. Sometimes I'm stupid. There it is. Okay. Do, 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 do.
What am I saying when I'm doing this? Sometimes the dog is just coming in and wanting to be. Yeah, there he is. Dog came in, he wanted to be rubbed. Wanted belly rubbed. He's always wanted his belly rubbed. That's when my wife came home. <laughs> I turned on the, just when the right, uh, the, the, the wife come home. <laughs> Okay. Do 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 do. Now I've gotten to the point. I'm not using an awful lot of narration. Um, sometimes I use narration, but it seems like um, there's, a, there's a principle in fiction writing which it says don't sh uh don't show don't tell and so half of comics is showing most of comics is showing and so i try to keep the um try to keep all of the wordiness to a minimum it's difficult, but sometimes you have to tell the reader what the heck is going on. Like when, uh, when Grandpa Blue comes back from hiding after the Civil War and finds out that nobody's there. Well, you have to kind of explain that. And that really becomes one of the fulcrums for the entire book is that he came back and nobody was there. Now I had to work on how I said this because that's um, that's a sort of country dialect. I don't know how other people are. Are you folks going to be long? Well, took that literally if you English was your second language they would ask you whether or not you're growing really gonna grow real fast <laughs> nope uh, it means are you guys gonna take a long time but uh, as in most variations on a language there are shortcuts people take in talking now i have to put some balloons around it i do a little bit of rewriting Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. Okay.
Now, are you, are you going to be long? It just turns out to be just a little. Um, it doesn't. It's not clear enough. So we we'll do a little bit of rewriting on that. So you'll see that in a second. Are you going to be long? Where are you? Got a tall one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I gotta resize this ballooner. Yeah, I still think that's a little too, uh, yeah. Well, I, I made that decision last night. So what's this look like on YouTube? I have a feed on YouTube, which is spectacularly underperforming. Well, it looks good. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, can't complain. Do 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 do. So both the Facebook and the YouTube feed are looking fine. Can't complain about that. I should be probably keeping up this live stream until the middle of October. Then I probably what I'll do is I'll do a live stream that uh, talks about the uh, writing of the new book or, uh, I don't know, getting people to get on to my Kickstarter campaign which is going to have all types of perks in it. It's going to be nice. All types. Of, I'm going to probably give away original drawings. You know, that's part of my rewards for uh, different, uh, you know, helping me uh, achieve some of my stretch goals. And then some of the higher um, levels of the of the contributions, the supports, will have some pretty cool stuff. If you like this comic, you know, you want to get some original art that's based on this comic, then in full color, 
hand drawn in uh, probably using. I got this really cool thing by uh, Kuinor, and also uh, Prismacolor have these uh, woodless colored pencils and art sticks. And I like to do these drawings on this brown recycled neutral pH archival paper. It's really, really nice. Got a really nice tooth to it, and it comes out gorgeous. And uh, I'm going to do a bunch of those as my re as some uh, stretch goal rewards. They're, and the ones I've done are nice. I don't know. It's a very egotistical for me to say so, but they they look cool. This guy is the spitting image of my great grandfather when he was this age. The absolute spitting image of him. He had a handlebar mustache like that. That was just absolutely <laughs> amazing. As I remember it from all the photographs of, I have of the family at different stages in the life, he's the only one who uh, had a, a, this humongous, um, had this humongous uh, mustache. Everybody else was fairly clean shaven, which may have something to do with uh, after World War I. Uh, people started going clean shaven and short hair and things like that because uh back in uh over when the troops were in europe they had an awful lot of problems with lice and so if you had your hair really really short you know a crew cut uh then uh you didn't have problems with lice you didn't have enough hair for them to get in there of course i don't know don't know much about lice I was an elementary school teacher. It's lice is something that happens in elementary schools. D D D D D. And they got to I put it on the wrong layer, but it's okay. So after this, I have 35 pages to publish. I have about 27 pages, 20, let me see, I'm on page 119, 148. Uh, that's uh, 29 pages, 29 pages to actually um, Well, I'm, I'm right now. I'm coloring them, I'm coloring them, and putting in dialogues. That's not too much, especially when I'm doing this at a clip of five pages a week. Now, five pages a week should really start to jump. Get this thing done pretty soon. So now it's a, a little bit different coloring on the outside. Do, 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 do. So I use 34 point in the web comic because that's the minimum uh, size that you have that I have had looking at it on smartphones. So you can read the the uh, the text on a smartphone. I suspect a lot of people read comics on their smartphone. At least that's the way it seems to me. So if you create a, a 
text that uh, is too small to read on a smartphone, you kind of knocked out a huge part of your audience. So uh, I may read, I don't know what size I re can reduce it for print, but I know that 12 point in print is huge. So I'm going to look at some old comics. Got a sp old spirit comic here from from the uh, I got an old spirit comic here from a kitchen sink in my hot little hands, and it's pretty big, pretty big, and I'll just have to figure out by printing out some stuff. That'll be the exact same size as the uh, as the comic, which will be pretty much the same size as kitchen sink. Uh, it's about um, let me get out a under a ruler. I think it's seven by ten. I'm going to do, which is a pretty much the size of uh, underground comics. This is uh, got it upside down. It's six and three quarters by uh, ten and a quarter. Yeah, six and three quarters by ten and a quarter. So I'm going to do my seven by ten, which is, I think, the size that Hobo Stories was. I got one old copy of Hobo Stories here. Let me look what I got. It's a uh, seven by uh, ten. Yeah. I'm going to do the same size as Hobo Stories. Hobo Stories is a good size. So, I did all the lettering. Of course, this is 1973. You did all your lettering by hand with a rapidograph. Goodbye, Blue Boy. Be careful. Blue Boy's just kidding. He didn't say anything back. Do beep beep boop 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 boop. Once you get when you start working on the colors, it gets a lot of fun because one of the uh, primary theories in color theory is limit your color. Don't put too much color in there. You'll be able to. Uh, they'll be fighting each other. Color always interacts. It interacts spatially. It's not just there. It's not just uh, uh, so. It's not like just a gummy wrapper. You a uh, uh, green holds its place if it's in relation to like that right down at the bottom. She's holding plain because the green behind her is a lighter version of the color of her dress, and so she. Uh, is in front of it. Uh, if you had a red one, if you had a red background, you'd be going nuts. Your eyes wouldn't be able to uh, figure out where things were. That's why you use a uh, color in uh, variations of value. In, a, in an area like that, it works a whole lot better. And then everything else around it is muted chromatic neutrals. And it works out a whole lot better because you can't. Uh, it's one of the first things I was taught by Susie Edinger at uh, Missouri State. It says, do not use candy colored uh, combinations. It will not work. You have to limit your color. And uh, of course, she was a wonderful teacher. I hope she's still alive. She's a professor emeritus now. But sh this was 50. 
50 years ago she was teaching this. I guess it was 48 years ago because it was in the spring of 1972. So it was 48 years ago she was teaching me this. And she was, she had gray hair then. She must have been, I don't know. I will look her up. She's a wonderful person. Uh, teachers always have you have this effect on you think uh, you're just going out to a job and everything, but nope, you're having an effect on people's lives. Children, uh, and at 18, I get 19, 18, 19 years old, I was a child. <laughs> a big effect on somebody who knows what the heck they're talking about. She was a an aficionado, uh, Kathy Colvitz. And that's where I found my, began my love affair with Kathy Colvitz, uh, um, her work as a, as a printmaker. I was, I wasn't a printmaker then. I became a printmaker later on. It's the thing that, that, uh, drew me away from comics was etching. I did not know at that time that etching was sort of, sort of like in its, uh, twilight years. Uh, people are still doing etchings, but uh, are people selling etchings? Uh, probably not a whole lot of people selling etchings. People do it for the love of it. Gets you the most beautiful effects. I got a uh, thing I'm developing, and I got to maybe work on that today. A little fiction zine that I'm going to be putting out. And one of the illustrations is uh, the engraving for a short story called uh, uh, O'Connor on the Mile. The name of the little uh, engraving is called uh, To the Pub. And it's just an engraving, uh, which uh, is a nice little thing because these days I don't like to use uh, acid, even the non-toxic acids that you can uh, developed from hydrogen peroxide, white vinegar, and sea salt. Um, they still produce really weak acid fumes. And, uh, you know, so I got the, the idea of just, just doing engraving. Because engraving, you can do engraving anywhere. Under any circumstances, you can do engraving, which is a lot of, it's a lot of fun as long as you keep that old burin sharp. And I always use copper. When I was in undergraduate school, everybody used zinc. Why? Because zinc was cheap. Because we had no money. But now I wouldn't use anything but copper because it seems like a pittance now. You're in your adult years, you know, you don't worry about pretty much the cost of. Things like a zinc plate. You can get a zinc plate that's uh, 18 by what's it, 12 by 18. Maybe 12, yeah, 12 by 18 for like 48 bucks. Back then, 48 bucks seemed like a million dollars. Now you go, that's nothing. This time, this I was getting, I was starting to get those little crosshairs instead of my um, I, I did a lot, a lot of fooling around to get to figure out where this uh, probably should have done it right there but I, the thing is that the word balloon became too big I had to move it down it's maybe the one one of the clumsy uh, places where I use word balloons but hey I didn't want to cover up everything that was over on the right side. So what am I saying here? Up. Best not do that. I think my wife's feeding the dog. <laughs> <laughs> A 
one of the advantages of doing these things uh, as a screen movie is that yeah you have you have a uh, sound but uh you don't have to turn it up while you're doing it i just do voice over here <laughs> do 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 Yeah, I have to move this around, around and around and around. It just uh, covers up too much of the, of the, try to do it like that. And then I said, oh, wait a second, look at this. I get that pointer out of there. So I went to, yeah, I got to get rid of that. Da, da, da. Get rid of the pointer. Uh, that didn't work, so I just had to get rid of it. Yep. Now I have to re... Re... I have to put it over there. <laughs> Huh. Uh, boo, 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 boo. So I, uh, I connected with this long thing here, but I don't like that either. So I'm going to have to, uh, I think, I don't know, maybe I left it that, uh, yeah, just put it over there and then make it a little skinnier. I don't know why I did that. Hooda hooda. This one took a lot while to figure out. What? No, I went back. I think I did. I 
I did some more on this. Oh, a lot more. And then I do a thought thing of me jig. Dee -dee -doo. Ah. But as you can tell, I'm having a, just a wonderful time. Um, I could have come back to comics. What I do here? A lot earlier, but I don't think I was ready. I think I had this story in me. It has to be told. Because it's everything I've ever learned uh, about life, which I, yeah, there are, uh, there are um, writers who just write whatever they, you know, sells, but I never been able to do that. I don't know what the heck sells. Okay. Um, so I have to write what I've learned. That's my whole thing. Write about what you've learned. And then, uh, and so I had to be an old man. And fortunately, I can still draw. <laughs> I can still think. I went through a, a real wonderful time some time back of having to have uh, several surgeries. But in doing that, that's one of the great things about modern medicine. It's my uh, surgeon told me last January, says, well, but you may live to be 90. I've got you, uh, I got an overhaul on you that should get you uh, many years of uh, life ahead of you. Just, uh, you know, have a reasonable exercise program. It's not like you're, uh, you're not going to go downhill in your 70s. I will. Just how far downhill do you go? You don't expect yourself to live the kind of life you led when you were a child. That just doesn't happen. You know? If you think you're going to, you're going to hurt yourself in a big way. My big brother has decided he's going to get up on the roof. And he's going to put in gutter guards. He's 69 years old. I told him, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you even think about doing it. You're 69 years old. You don't get up on the houses. If you fall off that house, it doesn't matter if you land on uh, on uh, soft grass or not. You're going to hurt yourself real bad. He's not going to listen to me. He never did listen to me. 
So I hope I don't announce soon that I'll be out of here because I have to go to a funeral. Big dummy. Good you're going to do yourself if you fall off a house. But part of getting older is waking up that you're older. Uh, people think that uh, old folks, they're uh, kind of used to being old folks. It's uh, no big deal. But this is the first time I've ever been 67. I've never been 67 before. What lies ahead of me is uncharted territory. Because unless you've experienced it, you don't know do to about it. It's like my brother. He says, I've been on top of houses before. Yeah, you were 40. Don't do it. When I was 40, I was 45. I was putting um, I was uh, putting something up in a, in a loft, which was in, in this house we were uh, renting right before we bought our house. Uh, and I was putting this box up, and I lost my balance, and I fell. Must have been seven or eight feet onto a, uh, uh, a dryer that was in the garage. And uh, hit it, landed on my shoulder, bounced off of it. I did more damage to the dryer than I did to myself. I was fine. What was it? Uh, do, 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 do. 15 years later, 15? Uh, yeah, 15 years later, I fell approximately the same amount of uh, amount on a, uh, on a concrete surface. And I ruptured both my quadriceps. You changed 15 years. Does, you know, I could never have uh, imagined such a thing happening. And it was a, it was a choice between, okay, you're going to crack your head open on that uh, concrete, uh, uh, concrete uh, ledge, which we had built uh, on the, at the side of the house. Or are you going to jump and, uh, you know, hope for the best. You need what? I had like a tenth of a second to figure this out. I did not want to hit my head on a on a concrete pavement. So, uh, but um, I don't get up on ladders anymore. I don't uh, do anything I did when I was young. I just simply let it go. It's just a part of, you know, be glad you can walk because I couldn't for two months. And I hope my brother doesn't uh, end up being like me. He never been one to listen to anybody. He'd be a lug. He thinks because he's six foot seven, he's been a man of mountain all his life that it's going to last forever. Uh uh, it doesn't. Oh, look what I just did. Oh well. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's a bit of a hurdy-gurdy uh, arrangement, but uh, we'll all live. It'll be fine. Do, 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 do. All this stuff you see here, it's all just mechanical pencil. No use. There's no ink anywhere. I do have things I've done in ink that I like a lot. You know, because these when I was a kid, we didn't have uh, brush pens. Boy, if we'd had brush pens, I'd have gone to town on those things. Woo! We didn't have them. So, now, uh, these brush pens are just beautiful, but they, still, when you're inking, it just takes forever. It just takes forever. I 
I should do some of uh, maybe I'll do a chapter in one of these books where I just ink with a, a brush pen. This is the same stuff. I'm inking a piece in a sketchbook of a Paul Brown. Yes, sweetheart. Yeah, I'm going to have to help my wife. But fortunately, I got this thing going and uh, it won't stop. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Give me a second. I'll be back in a minute, but uh, I'll keep on. The video keeps going. Uh, my poor wife. She walks by the dog care. We send our dog to doggy daycare. Primarily so he can swim. She got a swimming pool. And he can swim all day long, and it's really good for him. It enables, he's lost like maybe a good five pounds. That way we have a lean, healthy dog until he's an old Bart. And the problem is he loves it so much is that uh, <laughs> practically pulls her down the street if he thinks there's anybody's at that house swimming. He can hear it. And he's got ears as big as a kangaroo. Not a kangaroo, but more, uh, like a jackrabbit. And uh, he loves swimming. So now we have to try not to walk by that particular house or he'll have a fit unless he gets to go swimming. And today there wasn't any swimming. <laughs> no swimming. We're good. Addicted to swimming. They're worse things. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got the text. It probably won't even. Yep. See, it does that weird thing. Put it over there. Nope. There. Nope. Making me mad. Nope. There. Uh, 
I know them fellers. And that dead man's family. Do 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 do. So Do 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 do. So I'm not going to give away what's going on in this uh, part of the story, but it's uh, good stuff. So you got to work around the the limitations you have with uh, font sizes and all that stuff. Okay. Do do do. Friday is some okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. Sunday and uh, in the okay. I'm looking at uh, religious holidays that uh, we have uh, uh, at the college, so they don't they don't overlap any of my days. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see it. I gotta. Oh, do, 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 do. Keep on uh, putting these things together until you can. You want to have enough space around the fonts that you're, the text you're writing. So that uh, the uh, so that the uh, edge of the word balloon doesn't uh, interfere with your reading, the legibility of it. And I might have to play around with that. I think I played around with that a little bit. I'm not really sure why I did. I probably would have been better off just leaving it alone. But uh, these are the things that happen to us. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, uh,
Do 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 do. You know, you notice how when you mute the colors, that even though they're muted, they're still colors, and so they still interact with each other. Uh, just. Variations of black and white. And so you have warmth and coolness in muted colors. And they behave similar to the way that pure color would. Except that they're not fighting. That uh, green uh, overhang in the top panel works. As uh, spatially because everything else is muted so it pops up real easily and establishes all the space in, to the left of it too now i have to work with dialect here because um, <sighs> murder and varmint a varmint is an animal and put down is what you do when you uh, when you're euthanizing a uh, a pet a dog or a or a horse horse uh, uh, breaks its leg you gotta put it down so that's the that's the uh, that's the country version of all these things. But when you're saying that, you're basically saying that uh, that's what murdering would be. You're putting somebody down as if they were an animal, which is why murder is so horrible. That and you robbed a person of a chance to live on a life and have a decent end to their life. And that's one of the reasons why Blue Boy was so incredibly upset. I don't envy that Mur the murder environment put that Clifford down. Yep. I think that's the way I did it. I haven't looked at the website this morning. Except to see how many people have come to visit it. And who remembers what you did last night? Dang.
Okay, now I gotta probably move that balloon down just a tiny bit. What am I doing? Uh, maybe I. Oop, looks like I let it be. Okay, this is page 112. I only have one more to go. Yeah, take me about a half hour, 45 minutes to get it done. This next page is one of my favorite pages. Okay. Yeah, I brought it down a tiny bit. Just to make it a little more readable. Okay. Okay. Take all of those uh, copyright notices and things like that out of this when I go to the print thing. I'll be a lot of work. That's life. <laughs> okay. What's this? Oh, I must add a. <sighs> I don't envy the murder environment. Put that Clifford down. Yep. Put that Clifford down. Now, yeah, it's one of my favorite pages. Well, those pages is where she just, I don't want no dialogue on it at all. I just want to be like this. But you got to tell a story. And I'll be able to reduce the uh, size of all these uh, uh, word balloons and words. I get to the print version. And so I'll be able to show more of the actual uh, drawing instead of having all these word balloons crowd and everything. That's also one of the reasons why I minimize the narration. You get way too much narration in something and you just don't let the story flow. I, uh, I, yeah, I did uh, do an entire live stream, which I colored this. I also showed a video of me drawing the entire, uh, the entire page. Most of the page. I don't think I showed the top of the page, but at least I got those two lower panels and the, maybe the lower two thirds. Uh, it's kind of haphazard on videotaping um, my actual rendering the page in on Bristleboard. I had a lot of I was taking a lot of this stuff to work with me and 
it's not appropriate to be filming things all when you're always even when you're on your break you know you may have trouble getting all that stuff done Okay, uh, just a little bit of, yeah, right up there, so that word isn't crowded. Okay, that's uh, so still a little crowded. Oh well, Let's see if I fix that. I've got the same eyes I had last night, so yeah, I figured I can reclaim that. And then. What do I do? What do I do? Oh well. <laughs> Panel. Well, I did. Uh, Put some more dialogue, well, word balloon in that second panel, but I think I did that later. Well, we need a few more balloons here. We'll see if I put them in. I'm just colors everywhere. She comes here. She's like a rainbow. La 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 la. So who's been watching this thing? I got uh, one on Blue Boy, one on YouTube. It's probably me. Two on Facebook and one on Twitch. It's not a huge crowd, but what the heck. I don't advertise. <laughs> Boo to do to do. So what's my doggy doing? Huh?
I'm sitting here drawing with my brush pen, a drawing a blue boy brown. Do to do to do. I think I'll give a a bunch of these as uh, rewards for my Kickstarter campaign. Got to do them more dynamic. I'm just sitting here doing a portrait of him. Fortunately, I got a bunch of, I went to Dick Blick and got a bunch of cartridges for this thing. Who made this dang thing? Uh, it's by, uh, can't tell. Huh. Uh, somebody good. Probably pin something or other. Anyway, still works pretty nice. I have several different pen brushes that I picked up. Where's my other pen brushes? Uh, where are they? I don't see them. Uh, may I stand up? I can see. Uh, maybe we're here. Uh, I don't see him. I've been robbed. Uh, there's somewhere here. Oh, boy. As well. Oh, there they are, right in front of me. <laughs> Though I do have a a fancy one, a couple of fancy ones that I don't see. Uh, I'm sure they're right in front of me. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, right in front of me. A snake would have bit me. Yep, they are. I'll play around with these things. Let's see, they're made by some weird outfit. Yeah. Anyway, what's the fun? Because, uh, boy, uh, what fun we would have had back in the 70s if we'd had these instead of rapidographs. Woo! We'd have gone to town. Yeah, this thing. Yep, yeah, we would have had a lot of fun. We had these things.
Okay, where am I? Okay. This one my I like this part here. Blue, remember the farm we lived at when you were four? One of the root cellar in the barn. I don't tell you who said this because it doesn't matter. It could be Blue Boy. It could be Pa. It could be Grandpa talking to his son. It doesn't matter. Little handles are difficult to get a hold of sometimes. There. It'd be a whole lot better if I'd stuck at just a, oh, well, I think I, yeah, I used the rectangle thing. I'll just put it together. It's easier that way. Ah. And then I got to fix that because you got this little, yeah, you got to bring that up there. Yeah. Do 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 do. Oh, there it is. So.
<sighs> so, okay. I got to re uh, format the, the got to reformat the text so that it actually flows and fits in that there. Oh, it fits. Look at that fit in there. That they got do 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 Hmm. See if I'm having problems with my the old Wi-Fi. Let me see, right. Uh, No, I have no problems on uh, YouTube. Oh. Yep. According to this, I'm having problems on Facebook. But I got... Viewers on Facebook, let me look here. Yeah. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Okay, for some reason my uh, tablet is having problems. Wait, look, I just kill that, bring it back up. Okay. Okay, so uh, old blue boy was convinced the devil lived in that cellar. Okay, I'm doing all right. Something squirreled up on my tablet. It's no big deal. And it'd probably be a good idea if I didn't follow myself. 
so I didn't. Okay, a little more accurate. So, it's one of my favorite pages. What kind of sound did I have here? Probably not much. Around this time, let me see what time was. I doesn't I don't have a time stamp on this. Uh let's see. It was around 11 o'clock or so, yeah. Something up on 11 o'clock or so, and... Anyway. Back in a second.
I think I may have moved this down a little bit. Maybe I didn't. Uh, who can remember what you did just last night? <laughs> Well, did you get a chance to watch the BMW Championship yesterday? Nice little shootout between John Rahm and Dustin Johnson. And uh, that's number one, number two in the world. Dustin Johnson's number one in the world. John Rahm's number two. Uh, John Juan, Rahm, there was a tie. Had to have a playoff. John Rahm beat him. I like both of them, so it didn't matter to me which one won. I like John Rahm a lot because one thing he looks like one of my nephews. But my nephew is a humongous weightlifter. He's got, gosh, he's huge. So he looks a, kind of like a combination of John Rahm and uh, Bryson DeChambeau now, except he's bigger than Bryson DeChambeau. Uh, uh, golf's one of the weirdest games because one week you can just be on the money and the next week you don't even make the cut. It has everything to do with with uh, the course. The course, the conditions. Uh, you make a few wrong uh, uh, decisions, even the, the club you choose to use and you don't make the cut. And I'm hoping against hope that sooner or later my my favorite uh, golfer Jordan Spieth will make his comeback. <sighs> Heidi um, um, Matsuyama has not won since 2017 either. And he uh, yesterday was the, his first time he's in the top twenty-five all year long. So this happens to this happens to people. They just have this horrible stretch. Like Justin Day, uh, uh, Jason Day, he didn't make the cut from. He's not going to play next week. He didn't. Uh, he's not in the top thirty. And Jason Day is outrageously good uh, golfer. And these things happen. And uh, sooner or later, I'm hoping. Uh, He'll uh, figure out what the heck's going on. It's got to be a mechanical thing. These, this mechanical weakness keeps keeps uh, creeping back into his uh, his game. Even when he he'll go like a one, uh, he'll be on a back nine and make four birdies in a row, and then something will happen, and he'll make a couple of bogeys and it'll nullify the whole. Nice stretchy head. I'm driving nuts. Okay. We need to get Catherine tipsy just once. Almost at the end of this. I got like nine minutes to go. I think a lot of this time I take up just exporting uh, pages for the web comic. And then maybe I'll set up uh, the page for um, for uh, tomorrow. Then I get started on the uh, sixth chapter. Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, I believe I work on uh, 
I think I'm working on, I'll have you working on page 120, and 120 is the last page of The Widow Kills a Chicken or Two. We'll start off with chapter six. I'll tell you the name of that when I get around to it. At least I got that layer right this time. So, what's going on here? Needle. So I'll be set, finished with this pretty soon. I think we want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I decided to put one more. Uh, word balloon in there. Do, do, do. It's best just to stack those. Yeah, something like this. Just stack them. On and bottom, yes. Which I'll catch on to that in a second. Yep. Put it up there. Uh, put a word balloon in there. Uh, you know, pointer. Maybe a little bit larger too. Make it just a tiny bit larger. Uh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, well, I guess I just left it like that. Okay, here we go. We got about four minutes to go, I think. Yeah, we're exporting the screens now. Nice to have two screens. One of the nice things about uh, having a decent uh, computer is that you can, I've been using two screens for quite a few, several years, but mostly with a laptop, older laptop, which fortunately I didn't have to pay for. I, I traded it for a, a painting, but still not, 
powerful enough to do what I need to do, but still I can use two screens with it. But now I'm still using two screens with this. Uh, but uh, I do all my uh, major work on the big iMac screen, the 27 inch. Then I got 24 inch uh, ViewSonic that I use for my second screen. I just put browsers and stuff like that in it. It works beautifully. Okay, now to 112, 112, go, 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 yeah. Now export it again. Okay. And then export this thing. Okay, now I exported this. Now I got this. As I remember, I loaded them up and uh, looked at them as they would be displayed in a comic book uh, uh, facing pages. The first one is the right page. So it wouldn't be facing me. The other two have two facing pages. There's 13. Let me see if I put 12 up there. There's 12. That looks pretty good. There's 111, and then 110, and 109 would be across the page from 108, which I don't have up here. No, you don't see it like that. You see it like this. Okay, we got about three seconds to go, so let's stop that screen because it's got no use for it now. Reduce that and open up Photoshop. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> okay, now here's what we'll be looking at tomorrow. We'll be doing this thing tomorrow. Which is, uh, well, you haven't. Um, this is, there's been all types of thunderstorm they looking, but not that recent. Uh, this is 120, so I want 119, so 
did this last Friday, I guess it was. So we'll have this next to it, uh, though it won't be, this will not be, this will be the last page of a, of a chapter and the facing page will be the beginning of a chapter. So we got this, let me look at 118. 118, there. So now we got, this is what they'd be across from each other. Ah, wasn't smart. Let me put it back in there. Now I can take it out. Look at it like that. So this look pretty good. And uh, <laughs> we're always fun to, this is just pencil. This is all just pencil. All this is just pencil. And some drawing in Photoshop. Here's 120, put it back in there. So we'll be doing that. <clears throat> I haven't scanned page 121 yet, so I can't really mess around with that. So <clears throat> maybe I can do the, um, I can do uh, dodging on uh, some of the, uh, some of the stuff that's going on here. <laughs> I'm going to do some drawing down here. Okay, that's the way I want to do it. So I'll start it. So I'll be into this. Oh wow, so I'm gonna just uh, take a breather. Nope, that's not what I want. This one, this is over here. That's not what I wanted either. And burn it. Uh, la 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 la. 
Oh, well, won't be able to do that. How about uh, recent? Do I have any recent? No, I don't. Okay. That's life. So, looks like I'll just close on this. This is what we'll be doing tomorrow. And uh, should be a decent day. And thank you for coming by. So, we're going to say goodbye today. Take it easy.